Hey y'all and welcome back to another video about Ember's Darkness. In today's video we're going to talk about the new update that just hit. Uh, namely we're going to be talking about my thoughts on Crystal Mine, how I personally feel about it, and um, what the best strategy is if you're active and then if you're passively playing. Uh, so before we get into that I just want to say uh, with the new update uh, not much has changed inside the game. Uh, the biggest change that has happened happened at reset, um, and that is the one daily offer changed to Golden Venom. This is awesome. Uh, if we're honest here, Golden Venom was expected, so I'm glad that it's there. What I don't like is this 30-day timer. Uh, this should easily be 45 days, maybe 60 days. Um, it takes approximately 20 days to get it, uh, on average, you get 10.6 fragments, uh, which is approximately 20 pulls, maybe a little bit less, maybe 19 pulls. That's assuming you get average fragments, no bad RNG, so um, I really don't like that it's only 29 days. Uh, hopefully, this means that they're going to rotate, but honestly, even if they're going to rotate, this should still be 45 days. Uh, give it plenty of time to guarantee that you get both copies, whatever. Uh, maybe even 60 days. Again, I think 60 days is actually the right number here. Um, if we pull up my handy-dandy calculator, the minimum number of fragments that you can get is 8, so 200, which is how many is required to pull them, divided by 8 equals 25 days. So if I were to buy every pack every day and I got the minimum number of fragments every day it would be 25 days I need one more for a dupe um, so that's 50 days in order to get them give it a little lean way in case you miss buying a pack here or there that's 60 days easy um, I think this is a huge mistake I really hate this I hope they change it I hope that there's a giant demand for change uh, too if I'm honest okay uh, without further ado, let's talk about cave strategies. So first, uh, the highest that we've seen so far is level 6. I haven't heard of anyone going above level 7 inside of the mine. Uh, if you're like me, you're right around level 5, maybe level 4. Uh, so at level 5, we are earning 320 per hour, uh, and you last for 6 hours, so a good good way to know how long you're going to last maximum gathering time is the level you are plus one hour so i'm level five i'm going to last for six hours at level six you last for seven hours um at level four you last for five hours and the output is 260 per hour the output at level six is 420 so it does go up exponentially and that's kind of huge um and then at level three your output per hour is 200 right so 200 to 260 to 320 to 420 um i will say that it is easier at lower levels so if you're not trying to be very active if you're not trying to uh, be very difficult i would recommend actually going like a level or two lower so no one can beat you and you can just gather and hit and gather and hit uh whenever you want this does lead me into the best explanation uh, for how to do this. So optimally, if you are non-active, you're hitting with your pro unit and you're just living life at, with your pro unit. If you are not living life with your pro unit, which I currently am living life with my pro unit, I'm not that active in this game anymore. Um, you want to hit with your pro unit and then you want to after an hour or two hours you want to recall your pro unit and you want to send out one t1 unit uh, because the troops that you gather with doesn't affect how much you gain uh, and then when someone hits you since you're active in the game you are able to come to this battle report go to rival list and then hit revenge uh when you hit revenge, you're able to auto battle them. Obviously, I lose to this guy. He's way stronger than me. Um, but it allows you to get back some of the crystals that would loss. And when you're hit, you don't lose any crystals, right? So he took he takes 33% of what I gained, but 
I also didn't lose that 33%. So what this means is, assuming that I'm active in the game and I hit often, um, or I, I pay attention to this revenge list, because he revenge hit me, I only had one troop stationed, he's likely weaker than me with my pro unit, I'm able to click this revenge button, put in my pro unit, and I go nuts, and I take the 100% that I've already gathered, and I take the um, additional 20 to 30 percent i forget the number that you previously gathered um so that's kind of that's kind of beautiful uh the other thing to note for this uh and what i really like is that this basically means that there's free pvp every day you don't have to refresh your troops you don't have to rebuild them you get to use any special ant insect your evos all play a part of it so i really like that there's a lot of pvp involved in this uh and it takes it away from server versus server uh, I did go rogue for a few days, and I absolutely hated it, so I'm really glad that that happened. Uh, and then again, you, you get the real battle reports, right? So I have all these battle reports from people hitting my mine, uh, and that's really cool. I can see where I'm sitting, right? I can see where they're sitting. I can basically ignore it if they uh, hit me and they don't have a level 9 uh, insect, right? So this is a level 6 purple. They had no chance. Um... But this one's a level 9 shooter, right? They had Banshee Panda, Acid General, Jack Jumper. They have all their skills, but T8 troops, right? So that's... I, I try to learn from my account uh, about that. I can look at my combat speed, right? See where my combat speed changed from their combat speed. So their evolution wasn't there. Um... And their special ant, right? I have New World General. Uh, their special ant didn't give them any. Uh, so I, it's a really good way to be able to test out everything you have going for your account um, and see where your stats are and your evolutions that you've been doing without losing any resources and stuff like that. Um, beyond that, you... When you hit you only can plunder four times a day hey y'all i'm in the middle of editing this as you can see um and dummy me here says that you can plunder a maximum of four times a day it's five times uh and then your troop rest chances caps out at five but refreshes by one every two hours so you could you can do that again and again and then it refreshes back to five at uh, midnight UTC. Uh, so I just wanted to add that edit. I also want to apologize. There's a lot of background noise in this one. Uh, my kid was still awake, but I wanted to make this video before I went to bed. Uh, I'm still really tired from all the work. So sorry for the background noise, you guys. Uh, don't hate me. If you do hate me, leave it in the comments below. I'm down to, you know, give you a thumbs up and tell you that you need a hug. All right. Anyways, back to the show. But if you hit and you lose, um, you can, it refreshes once every two hours, you gain another stamina. So if you hit and you lose and you're just trying to test out things, you can hit three different people that you think you're going to lose against uh, and see how you do. You can also hit the same person three times, testing out different formations to see if you can get better. Um, and then... If you go to the rivals list, right? So I have four plunders right now. If I go to my rivals list, I can revenge hit and it costs me nothing, right? So I can go back to this rivals list and I can change my special ants to, I don't know, uh, giant tooth, golden armor, and then new world general and see if that's better, right? I can be like, okay, this is what I did. Nope, 34%, but it's a way to test out from my formations. So that's really cool. Um, and you can uh, coordinate with other people in your server if you're in a nap. Like, hey, I'm Crystal Mine level 5. I'm in Area 51. Come hit me. We'll see how we do. Um, so, yeah. That, that's all my thoughts. That's where I'm at with the, it. I don't think it's awful. I don't think it's bad. I think that um, people should be excited about it. Uh, there's obviously the pay to win side of it and yeah, there's money that you can spend in order to get further. Yay. Um, I, it doesn't entice me at all. 
the mine store is pretty good. You can get a lot easy. Uh, I gain two, three thousand crystals a day, if not more. Um, so I'm slowly building my two star sentinel genes up. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, man. Uh, I'm playing this game a lot more relaxed as of late since my wife quit. Uh, and I think that it's important to try and just keep that type of mentality now moving forward. Uh, and that's my, that's my overall thoughts on it. I think it is a really good place to test it. I like that there are different levels to try and separate the pay to win players versus the lower weaker players. Um, I think it's good if you want to test out different formations and stuff like that, you can push as high as possible and test out, uh, what makes you happy. So, I think that there's a lot of really good groundwork here. Uh, with that, you guys, those are my final thoughts on this section. Uh, we did have a 1300 sub subscription giveaway uh, to do, so we're going to be pulling the name for that. Uh, thank you guys for all the love and support. We're almost at 1,400 users. So, once we get to 1,400 subscribers, we will be doing another uh, subscribe subscription giveaway. I am amazed every day um, by the love and support that I get from you guys. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I will be starting doing uh, other games. Uh, I don't want to dedicate this cha YouTube channel to this one game. Uh, it's not extremely popular. And I would like to branch out. I will still be making, out, making content for this YouTube, vi this thing. And the $20 Google Play giveaways will still happen every 100 subscribers, no matter what game, whatever content I'm making. So if you're just interested in trying the raffle, I mean, the raffle is literally free. Um, you guys could stay a subscriber and continue to uh, do it every 20, uh, $20 Google Play every time. So I hope that kind of entices you guys not to unsubscribe just because I'm going to start putting out random content. Without any further ado, you guys, uh, let's get into the 1300 giveaway. All right, you guys, you know the deal. We're going to right-click copy over here. We're going to right-click paste right there in the video URL. We're going to filter duplicate users. You only get one chance to enter. Include replied comments. I don't care where you post it. Filter comments based on specific text. We're going to scroll down to the keyword. We're going to right-click, and we are going to paste right there. Get YouTube comments. 65 comments that's huge you guys this video is november 13th so two days old holy poopies um and we're gonna click start apocalypse j congratulations on winning um you guys 65 comments in two days is insane uh thank you guys for all the love and support um apocalypse jay congratulations on winning i do want to say you guys again uh even if i do other content which i will be doing um i will still be doing the 20 dollars google play giveaways i will have the content divided based off of playlist so it's easy for you guys to separate uh it just gives me a chance to expand uh where i get revenue from you guys uh, i do actually enjoy making youtube videos Usually, I mean, every job, there's bad days where you don't want to do it and it feels like a chore, but uh, I just want to, I want to do it on more content that I enjoy. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried about the state of the game as I've talked in previous videos. So I want to feel more secure uh, in this endeavor. I am creating more socials, you guys. Uh, so expect those plugs eventually. Uh, and then one final thing. Uh, this is his channel uh, so go ahead and drop that subscribe uh, he's a good dude he is part of the nerd herd he's super informative uh, I steal his ideas all the time uh, he's the one that taught me the gathering trick he goes he talks about it here um, again he allows me to take the data take the knowledge and produce it to you guys but uh, go drop him a subscribe he's not sure if he's going to do it forever or if he's just like uh, one or two minute videos here and there are good. Um, again, really good guy in love with his dog. So if you're a dog person, uh, another reason to join him. Thanks, you guys. Uh, Y'all rock. 
you're awesome. As always, you guys, you can catch me in the YouTube comments. You can catch me on Discord. My channel link is in the description or online. Uh, my username for line is in the description. Or worst case scenario, like I always say, you can catch me on server 174. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.